Hey y'all. Happy Merry Christmas, Kwana Hanzaka. Mm -hmm. I figured I would maximize on this moment and share some of my K-pop thoughts because I do this annually. I do a end of the year video where I just have some questions I wanna ask. <laughs> Fun times. And I figured the best way to do it would be, you know, a tad bit buzzed. I just, can you help me? I just wanna understand. What I wanna know is why is it that when the K-pop boys, when they be dancing and they got on a jacket or a blazer and then they like, you know, flick it off their shoulders, we lose our minds. You still got on a whole shirt. You underneath that, what you have on is full attire. You're not naked. You're not naked. You're not out here pulling a wand hole. So I wanna know why that impacts so many of the fanboys, fangirls, and fan thems. Currently, my arm is underneath the mattress and the pillow top mattress that I have. It feels so great. What is, what is YG Entertainment doing? <laughs> what is YG Entertainment doing? I heard that Icon is supposed to be the first group to come back in 2018 on YG Entertainment's label. And good for them. They deserve it. Have they not suffered hard enough, long enough, being on several reality TV shows and then being sequestered to Japan? Can't even come back to your own home country. Bobby ain't even from there. Bobby from Virginia. Bob, wait, was Bobby born in Korea and then moved to Virginia? I'm not in a capacity to, I don't. Why well, Big Hit come out of nowhere and just like defecate on everybody in 2017? <laughs> I feel bad for whatever group come out of there next because like that's how I felt for everyone who came after Big Bang and 21 and YG Entertainment. I'm just like, do you know? Do you know who you there with? Like, can you? Can you? Should you even try? Those are real questions that I have. I feel sorry for the new boy band. I feel sorry for them whenever they may debut. I hope magic and, and joy comes their way, but I feel bad. When is uh when is all of K-pop just gonna go ahead and dive deep into some grief counseling and mental and emotional health initiatives all drinking aside at this point because it ain't like I'm doing it to numb pain there's got to be a better way the country won't do it so perhaps if you all take first step initiative that would impact some positive change just a suggestion just a suggestion you know I'm really feeling what I'm really feeling is the fact that everybody want to work with international producers. And I think that's dope and whatnot. I really do. But if everybody sound the same, are we really innovating? Where is the live instrumentation? Can we bring it back? Do you remember the era of 2015 when everybody had brass? Everybody. I want some live instruments. I keep producing with live instruments and I suck at production. Sometimes, not sometimes. I'm a beast, but sometimes. And if I am going in that direction and I've been on time with everything I've been making, I know that you all can do it too. When? When? I know SM, you know, had a, a rough patch. Like, we're not about to even deny that, nor are we going to, like, dive into it. That's not the place for this. <sighs> When y'all gonna let NCT U come on back? I need them to come on back. Like, Taeyong, what you doing? I need to see you. I need to hear you. I need to dance. Resist the bias feels. Mm -mm -mm. I think all, I think all the idols, even the idols who ain't debuted yet, should all just on the regular get a weekly massage. Now, I know this just, just seems real off, but listen, listen to me. I was, I am no longer a trained massage therapist. 
I know the modalities and the intercontinent and, and, and ooh, ooh, try to say a big word when I'm drinking. Contraindications. I legit struggled back there. We I'ma leave it in here on the video for everybody to watch. Um what was I saying? I believe they all deserve it on a weekly basis. Just alleviate and relieve and, like, just get the stress up out your soul. Ugh. Nobody can resist the magic of Jay from Day 6. I don't care who you are. If we all love Amber and she's everyone's female bias... Jay is everyone's male bias. You need to accept it. You might not even know who and or what Day6 is, which is a shamble of a crime, but you need to know that Jay is, he's everything. I would be absolutely elated and humiliated if he saw this video. Oh, doesn't matter. Older than him anyway. I do it well. There's a high probability I'm going to go back, look at this video once I decide to edit it and feel some shame. Please drink responsibly, seriously. And remember, I'm older than more than half of y'all who watch my channel anyway. <laughs> oh, heads make some noise. Bye, y'all.